Hey everybody, welcome back to No Drummer News. It's Adam22, let's get right into the story. So a surging crowd incident at Travis Scott's Astroworld Festival on Friday night in Houston led to the death of eight attendees and left many others injured. Now a criminal investigation is underway. As of Monday, several concertgoers have filed lawsuits alleging that Travis Scott, concert promoter Live Nation, organizer Scoremore, and others involved with the event were responsible for the deadly crowd surge. Drake has also been named as a defendant in these claims. According to TMZ, Houston injury attorney Sean Roberts submitted seven cases for various clients. Attorney Ben Crump, who repped the family of George Floyd, has also stated that he is representing Astroworld attendees. Documents in the case are pretty much identical. Each lawsuit claims both Travis and Live Nation failed to provide adequate security and a security plan to protect attendees and conditions at Astroworld Festival, causing several stampedes and a crowd compression that led to the eight deaths and hundreds of injuries. The attorney behind these lawsuits, Sean Roberts, doesn't list specific injuries for his clients, but says they were seriously and permanently injured. In the docks, Travis and Live Nation are also accused of failing to warn fans of safety risks and failing to provide appropriate medical staff at the event. Roberts is suing for negligence and wants an unspecified amount of damages for both of his clients. The exact timeline of all events that led to the fatalities remains unclear. Still, attendee videos and testimonies posted to social media indicate that fans were being crushed in the overly crowded space as fans surged towards the stage during Travis Scott's performance. The Houston police chief was so concerned about crowd control at the Astroworld Festival that he went to Travis Scott's trailer to express concern over the energy in the crowd. TMZ also reported sources connected to Travis say that the chief never told Travis to pull the plug on the show. Furthermore, the sources say that Travis was never told to stop the show before 10, 10 p.m., more than an hour after the show began via his in-ear device, noting that the fire marshal was also mum on stopping the performance. In a statement posted to Twitter, Travis wrote, I am absolutely devastated by what took place last night. My prayers go out to the families and all those impacted by what happened at Astroworld Festival. Houston PD has my total support as they continue to look into the tragic loss of life. I'm committed to working together with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. Thank you to Houston PD, Fire Department, and NRG Park for their immediate response and support. Love you all. In a video posted to his Instagram story, Travis says that he's working with the city of Houston, local police, and the fire department to figure out what went wrong. As for why he didn't stop the show, Travis explained, anytime I can make out anything that's going on, I stop the show and help them get the help that they need. I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. I just want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans, like, my fans really mean the world to me. And I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Uh, we've been working closely We've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this, the city of Houston, HPD, fire department, you know, everyone, uh, you know, help us, help us figure this out. So if you, if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Um, everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated and. I could never imagine anything like this just happening. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated and just keep you guys informed on what's going on. Um, love you all. Travis also canceled his headlining performance at this weekend's Day in Vegas Festival as he's too distraught to play and revealed that he would provide full refunds for all attendees who bought tickets to Astroworld. I know there's been a lot of people on social media basically trying to like blame Travis for this. And I do think that there's definitely an extent to which he maybe 
could have been more careful, but I, I don't think people realize the extent to which when a performer like him does this kind of festival, I mean, he's not really involved with almost anything outside of his performance. You know, even the, the fact that it's his own festival, it's Astro World. I mean, he hires companies to put this together. I think Travis is probably the last person I would be putting blame on, even if there are some clips that maybe look a little bit incriminating, like he maybe should have known what was going on. Regardless, I consider him to essentially be a victim in all this as well because imagine the trauma that he's dealing with from just knowing that he's out there performing these songs, his life's work, and then he's got people dying, his own fans dying in the audience in his hometown. I mean, this is a terrible situation, and I just feel horrible for the families involved. Obviously, for Travis, this is just going to be a huge thing in his career that he's going to be dealing with for who knows how long and uh, I really feel for the families I'm sure Travis is going to be getting his ass sued for for years to come uh, for things related to this I just hopefully uh, can see this becoming a uh, a way that people will maybe be a little bit smarter about how they put these festivals together because this is definitely something that could have been avoided but uh my thoughts are with Travis and everybody who's involved with this because this is a terrible situation YouTube like comment and subscribe Appreciate you.